on this edition of Test Drive, I'm checking out the Group 44 Jaguar E-Type and Project Cars 2. I'm doing a short race around Watkins Glen, which was this car's very first race, so let's give it a look. Welcome to Inside Sim Racing. Hope you all are doing well today. This race is with a car that us Americans apparently cannot pronounce correctly, the manufacturer that is. It is the Jaguar. Jaguar. Jag. Bleh. E type. Quick 10 minute race to give you an idea of how the car handles. And Group A Vintage. Getting ready for the green here. AI is at 120%. We're starting in the back of the pack because I was out qualifying all of them. So we won't make it all the way forward in 10 minutes, but that's all right. See how far we can make it forward. Makes for a much more entertaining race. Let's see if we can get this guy on the outside. Nope. Push. So right off the bat, you'll see the car has a little bit of a tendency to push. I did try to lock the diff up a little more under acceleration just to get a little on throttle oversteer, which works, but you still have to be prepared. Try and work our way through past what we've got a couple Ferraris in front of us. As we dispose of one. So this car is part of a bonus four car pack that you get if you buy the Season Pass DLC. And I knew I was going to cover some of the other cars in it, so I just decided to take the plunge, look out, buy the car, or buy the pack, the DLC, Season Pass that is, and get this pack. I was very interested in this car. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oof. Uh, also, the Panos that's included. The Audi Quattro DTM. That was a little bit of a late move on my part. And then there's a touring car. I just can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But by far, this is my favorite car. I am going to wreck somebody here. Whew. I got away with that. And the reason for that is this car is just... I don't know what it is about it, but it, it definitely... Oh, come on, turn. It definitely likes to move all over the place. It has a lot of body roll, a lot of action, weight transfer. So you have to anticipate what the car is going to do. It's not so precise as a more modern car is. So it really takes some thought, plus the fact that it doesn't have great brakes. Yeah, well, he's going to slow down. I can see it coming. Don't squeeze me into the guardrail, please. Mr. Weymouth. Weymouth. Anyway, just the way this car talks to you and delivers. I mean, when the front end loads up and the force feedback it gives you is really excellent. The way you can, as we go through this corner, watch the front end, if I can hit it right. We get this like little bit of a bounce. Nope. A little bit. If you carry enough speed through there, you can actually get a good amount of like the that right front trying to lift and bounce through the corner. It's really cool. I lost a lot of time through that left hander. Just overall, a, a really fun car to try to push. It's got a nice over-the-limit feel. 
doesn't do anything odd or weird, nothing unexpected. Oh, locking up a little bit. I think I got tagged. Or maybe not. Felt like I did. But if you hit it just right, this E-Type rewards you with probably one of the most fun cars I've played in Project Cars 2 so far. And people are wanting my... You know, I didn't have a chance. Oh, that was my fault. Sorry. I thought he was going to stay wide. Uh, but people are looking for my thoughts about Project Cars 2 since I wasn't able to give it in the review, or official review that is. And I'm still working through it. I've got a bunch of other stuff I'm trying to get through as well. But so far from what i played, I really... Oh man, I almost hit that guy. I really am enjoying a lot of the cars. Not all of them, but most of the cars in Project Cars 2. I know there's a lot of bugs. A multiplayer seems to be hit and miss for a lot of people. Oh, that's not going to work. Ho, 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 ho. Drove a little bit too deep into that one. I think it was just released way too early. It didn't downshift right there. And I know they were trying to beat out the rush of Forza and Gran Turismo. I just wish they would have let it stay in the oven just a little longer. You know, you get first impressions and I was really frustrated to begin with about how a lot of the menus and stuff worked and the bugs that I was encountering when I first started playing it. Now a lot of my complaints have been evened out for the most part. There's still some here and there, but you know, and what I've been playing so far, which is mainly offline, I'm not about to try online yet because people don't seem to like it too much. Well, they do, and then some don't. It's very conflicting, actually, to see the, the variance in what people are liking about Project Cars 2. But anyway. I tried the other cars in the pack as well. The Audi was a lot of fun. The Panos wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. And I don't know if that's because my expectations were just different, or it's just not an exciting car. Um, it just... I don't know. For a, what I felt to be a brutal car, just didn't do anything exciting. Oh, I think we got a Corvette. Is that a Corvette? I think so. Oh, look. An Austin Powers paint job. Uh, the touring car was just standard affair. Missed my shift. Uh, but yeah, this this E-Type is just really cool to run. Got to run on this Datsun here. Woohoo! Let's see, oh, we worked our way up to 10th. That was a little bit of a mistake. Shh, don't tell anybody. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go, thank you. There we go, now I'm kind of getting the rhythm of the card. It's a little different from practice to qualifying. It's interesting. I just feel like I could get the car to rotate a little bit better. And I noticed most of the cars in Project Cars 2, I don't need to use the clutch if I rev match it right, which is odd. Some cars you think you just have to use the 
the clutch, but unless I'm missing a setting, I looked for auto clutch and made sure all that was off, so it just seems like I think the majority of the cars that I've tried, I can rev match. And not have an issue. One minute to go, so how many laps are we gonna get out of this thing? Five, six? Sounds about right. There we go. Ah, what a cool car. That's my best sector too. Woohoo! Uh, other things I had in the work actually was trying to review NASCAR Heat 2. Uh, it worked initially for me, and then they put out a couple patches and it bricked my game. Anytime I plug a Thrustmaster, you know, all I have are Thrustmaster wheels. So I've plugged in my TSPC Racer, my T300, my TX, uh, it crashes, crashes the game. The second it's plugged in, either it won't start up, or if I plug it in afterwards, it just crashes. So, it's kind of a, kind of a bummer. Because I was actually taking it for what it is, you know, it's not really a sim, but I was having fun actually playing the career mode, which is the intriguing part. I don't know, I, I was really kind of having fun with it, and then I come back after we get those slew of reviews over, uh, done with, and it won't work. I've done everything, I've verified files, uninstalled and reinstalled, make sure all my drivers were up to date doesn't work which is unfortunate because I was looking forward to doing a review but instead that gives me time to circle back around to other things not really making up any more time on these guys huh Should be the last lap. And hopefully, I've kind of maybe inspired a few people to try out the Jag if they buy the season pass. So I really think I know you know classic cars aren't a lot of people's interest, but there is something to be said for the rawness of a car like this. Oh, that was a good corner, finally, on my last lap. Why couldn't I do that the whole race? Driving and talking, people. is not the easiest thing in the world. But there you have it. The Jaguar, Jaguar, E-Type, and Project Cars 2. An excellent, excellent car to drive. Really, just a lot of fun. Um, I tested this at Donington, actually, and it was just, it was great there as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. For all the latest in sim racing news, you can hit up ISRTV.com. I've been strange. You guys have been great. Thank you so much for watching again. Take care, and I will catch you in the next video.